Incy Wincy Spider, <coughs> Wookie E Worm, Frenny Fly, Brawn Brawn Beetle, Achy Beaky Roach. Incy Wincy Spider and his pals Achy Bakey Roach and Wookie E Worm were sitting at Old Mother Hubbard's shoe and brownie shop. I can't believe Franny Fly is not returning my calls. I always said she was not a good girl for you, Incy. I don't believe it. She said she would love me for all my life. But a fly only lives for 28 days. That's 27 days too many. <laughs> I thought you were my friends. Aki is just kidding. He didn't mean it. Suddenly, Brawn Brawn Beetle came running in. Listen here, I just got news. Freddy Fly's been kidnapped by Hokey Pokey Pig. What? what? Incy Wincy Spider, Achy Bakey Roach, and Wookie E Worm stood outside Hokey Pokey Pig's mansion, wondering how to rescue Frenny Fly. Listen, pals, I thought you were rotten guys, but you turned out to be not so rotten after all. A bug in need is a bug indeed. You wait here. I'm going to crawl all the way up the wall and find out where Hokey Pokey Pig is keeping Frenny. Wookie E Worm started to crawl up the wall. Suddenly, there was a buzzing noise and Wookie bounced off the wall. He fell upside down on the ground. Wookie! Wookie! Wake up! What happened to you? Uh, that bleeping Hokey Pokey Pig! He's got the walls all electrified. I'll fly up and look through the windows. Achy Bakey Roach flew up, but barely a second had passed and he was knocked out of the air by a laser beam. No luck. Motion detector cameras equipped with lasers. There's only one way to do it. I've got to go up the water spout. Aki Bakey Roach and Wookie E Worm looked at him horrified. They knew Incy Wincy Spider and his history with water spouts. B -b but but whenever you climb a water spout, you are knocked down by the water flowing down it. You had vowed never to climb another spout in your life. You can't risk your life, Incy. I've got to do it. If I do not do something like this for my love, then it is not true love. And so, Incy Wincy Spider forgot his fears and started climbing up the water spout. The Incy Wincy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain And the incy wincy spider went up the spout again The incy wincy spider went up the water spout Down came the rain and washed the spider out Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the incy wincy spider went up the spout again the incy wincy spider went up the water spout down came the rain and washed the spider out out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the incy wincy spider went up the spout again incy wincy spider finally made it to the top 
on the roof, he found Frenny Fly tied up to a chair. Incy Wincy Spider untied Frenny Fly, and they hugged each other. Yay! You, you did, did it, Incy! Incy, you came for me! Yes, now let's get away before Hokey Pokey Pig finds out. We will take care of him another day. Incy Wincy Spider grabbed onto Frenny Fly, who flew them both the way to their home, and they lived happily ever after. Or at least for 28 days. Because as Wookie E. Worm rightfully said, a fly only lives 28 days. Incy, you can't just build a web any way you like. But I didn't, Frenny. I was fast asleep on the plane. You must have been sleep webbing then. You made a web all across the windscreen and caused a plane to crash into the Goopoo Goopoo River. It's not called the Goopoo Goopoo River. It's called the Krakana River. What a strange name. Why Krakana? Because it's full of crocodiles and piranhas. What do we do now, Incy? The forest is too thick and dangerous to walk through. Don't worry, Frenny. With your beauty and my brains, we will manage something. Guess I'll just stand here looking beautiful then. That's ingenious, Incy. You really did good this time. Now let me add something to this. Frenny, you've got us rowing oars. Yes! Now let's get rowing and find a way out of this horrible jungle. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily. Did you hear that, Incy? Who sang that? I don't know, Frenny. Maybe it's the rowing affecting our ears. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily. I definitely hear someone singing this time, Incy. You are right, Frenny. We can't both have imagined the, the same stream. song. Merrily, merrily. Let's continue rowing and see if the song comes back. Everyone, let's start rowing. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. <laughs> row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Frenny, help! Incy, I have an idea. Row around the crocodile. Just hold on tight. It's going to be a super speedy ride. Not you. You did it, Frenny! You got us away from the hungry crocodile and straight to the rescue spot! Incy, just because a girl is beautiful does not mean she is not brainy! You are so right, Frenny. It's just that I thought that because I am brainy but not beautiful, the opposite must also be true. Everyone is beautiful, Incy, even you, just in your own ways. This 
is unacceptable. How are we supposed to catch the bank burglar if we don't even know how he committed the burglary? Inspector L. Elephant, the burglaries occurred in dark vaults where it would be impossible for anyone to see anything. In fact, the areas were so dark that even the CCTV cameras don't show anything. Just what Captain Bafo Bison says. It was so dark in there that even my flashlight was blanked by the darkness. And that's not the end of it, Inspector L. There is no window or door through which the burglar could have entered, except for the main vault doors, which would need an explosive to open. But the CCTV cameras do not show any explosions or light of any kind. Just what Captain Bafo Bison says. It's almost as if the burglar was a g g g g g ghost. Sergeant Comelips Crocodile, we can't have this kind of talk in here. It is enough that the media is spooking out the general public without us policemen adding to the nonsense. But, 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 but what do we do, Inspector L? Go to Alice, the farmer's wife. She's the only person who can solve the case. Inspector L, you know the police department does not approve of her methods. Captain Boffo, we have no choice. I will take the case on one condition. What's that, Alice? I will treat the burglar a lesson as I please. Uh, uh, as you please? Yes. Does the police department agree? Inspector L said we have no choice. Go ahead, Alice. Solve the case. They are blind mice. That's how they see their way in the dark. And they are tiny, so they do not need to enter through the door or window. They simply crawl through the drain pipes. Stop! Who's there? It's Alice, the farmer's wife. We're caught. Ah! Help! Oh, look at those three mice. Look how they run. Blind mice, see how they run, see how they run. They all ran after the farmer's wife who cut up their tails with a carving knife. Did you ever you see such a thing in your life as three blind mice? Three blind mice. Oh, how strange! Three blind mice. Three blind mice See how they run See how they run They all ran after the farmer's wife Who cut up their tails with a carving knife Did ever you see such a thing in your life As three blind mice Three blind mice Look at those mice running Three blind mice Three blind mice, see how they run, see how they run. <laughs> they all ran after the farmer's wife, who cut up their tails with a carving knife. Did you ever you see such a thing in your life as three blind mice, three blind mice? <laughs> <laughs>